Assalamu alaikum dear students. Welcome to your English period for today. Now in today's lesson you are going to be learning how to write a paragraph. Now we did this last week and today's title is My Favorite Toy. So at the end of the lesson you are going to demonstrate how to write a full sentence because remember whenever we write a paragraph we are just putting sentences together. The second thing that you are going to do is you are going to identify how to combine sentences to make a paragraph. So we are going to take the sentences that you make, we are going to put them together and that is how we are going to get a paragraph. A paragraph is like a short story. So learners, before we get started with the lesson, I would like to remind you that you can complete all of the optional activities. You can play some games or you can watch some videos which are only for educational purposes. And please remember, at the end of today's lesson, you need to go back up to the PowerPoint and click on the assessment link so that I can see how much you understand from today's lesson. Now these are your key vocabulary. I am going to say each word and I want you to say it with me, please. So number one, sentence, capital letter, full stop, question mark, exclamation mark, and finger space. So I am going to say it one more time for you and I would like you to repeat it after me, please. Sentence, capital letter, Full stop, question mark, exclamation mark, and finger space. Amazing work, you're doing a great job. Well done. Now let's get started. Today we are doing creative writing. We are going to be learning how to write a paragraph. Now what is a paragraph? Who can tell me? Amazing! It's when we take sentences and we put them together. Now, a paragraph is kind of like a group of friends. You have a group of friends at school. Paragraphs are groups of sentences that share a common idea. It means all the sentences are about one topic. So remember, you are going to look at the topic which means what your paragraph is going to be about and then you are going to write sentences about that topic. When you are done writing the sentences, you are going to put them together to make your paragraph. Now you are going to follow these steps to write your paragraph. You are going to look at the picture or read the topic. So remember, number one, look and read. Look at the picture or read the topic. Step number two. Ask yourself the five W's and one H. Now if you don't know what that is, that's okay because I'm going to explain it later in the lesson. Step number three. You are going to write sentences answering the questions above. And step number four. You are going to place the sentences together. So let's get started. Now we are going to look at the following picture and we are going to read the topic. These are toys. The topic for today is my favorite toy. Now you are going to think of sentences for this topic. Remember you are going to use your five W's and one H. Who, what, where, when, why and how. These are your question words. So you can look at the topic or the picture and you can ask yourselves questions with these question words. The answer to your questions, that's going to be your sentence. Now before we get started with the paragraph, I would like to quickly remind you how to write a sentence. So learners, can you tell me 
How do you always start a new sentence? Amazing! You have to start a sentence with a capital letter. Good job! Don't forget. Yes, amazing! Leave a finger space. Great work! And what do we do last, learners? That's right! We have to end the sentence with a punctuation mark. So we can use a full stop. We can use a question mark if we're asking a question. Or you can use an exclamation mark if you're really excited or really angry. Remember, any extreme emotion, you are going to use an exclamation mark. Now, the topic is my favorite toy. So for this lesson, you are going to open your creative writing book to page 68. And at the top, don't forget, you can write CW and today's date. Now while you are doing that, you can pause the video. Amazing! Now you are going to write a paragraph about your favorite toy and why do you like it. So learners, these are your five W's and one H. Now you are going to look at each question. There are only four. And you are going to answer each question with a full sentence. So what's your favorite toy? So you are going to answer this, the question with a full sentence. And don't forget, start with a amazing. Start with a capital letter. And what do you leave between each word? That's right, you leave a finger space. And what do you end your sentence with? Well done! The correct punctuation mark. So a full stop or a question mark or an exclamation mark. Amazing work! So, now that you are done answering the first question, if you are still not done, remember you can Always pause the video to give yourself extra time. Now, the second sentence. What's its color? So what is the color of your favorite toy? You're going to answer that question with a full sentence. Don't forget, you have to write a full sentence. So for example, my favorite toy's color is pink. That is a full sentence. Don't just write the color. Amazing learners. Now, the third question. What do you do with it? So what do you do with your toy? You can write a full sentence. That's going to be your third sentence. And remember learners, when you are writing your sentences, you write the first sentence. So you're going to answer the first question. Write the first sentence. If it ends with a full stop over here, your second sentence will start next to the full stop and you'll keep going. Now, question number four. Why do you like it? I want you to write down why you like your favorite toy. So, this is an example of what your paragraph can look like. The first question, what's your favorite toy? So the first sentence can be, my favorite toy is a teddy bear. What is its color? It is a white teddy with pink and blue spots on its tummy. What do you do with it? I like to sleep with it because it is fat, cuddly and makes me feel safe at night. And why do you like it? Stuffins is my best friend. So Stuffins is the teddy bear. Now learners, you can answer the questions however you would like. Remember, I want you to be really creative with it. Now don't forget learners, I need you to please go back up to the PowerPoint and complete the assessment so that I can see how much you understood from today's lesson. Now good job for today's lesson. I'm so proud of you. Assalamu alaikum.